So around New Year's Eve this year, I got asked whether or not I set New Year's resolutions. And I sent out an email about this to my email list, and I was talking about the fact that I do set New Year's resolutions, I set New Year's goals, but I'm very particular about the ones that I set and they always have to be accompanied by something that I'm gonna share with you in a second to, for, for me personally to make them actually come to fruition, to actually work. Um, and you know, the people in the email list that sent me replies, several of my students that read the email, they said it was really helpful to them, so I figured I would share it with you guys as well. And so with New Year's goals, New Year's resolutions, whatever you wanna call them, you know, in 2000, going in from 2015 to 2016, I started to do them differently. And my business partner, Joe, would tell you that there was a shift in me from that period of time. And it's because when I started to look at my goals, I started writing them down, but then I would start to look at them a little bit differently. I would think to myself, okay, so here's the goal that I have for myself. What is it gonna require for me to, to actually make this thing happen? More importantly, what could I do every day that would give me forward progress towards that? And that daily progress, or the daily action type thing, the reason I started doing that was because I thought about the things that I'm good at in life, right? I'm really hyper, by the way. Like, you guys might see this in the videos where I'm talking to you and I'm trying to explain something and I start talking really fast and then you're like, what the hell is Chewie talking about? I can't even understand him. He seems like he's really excited, but I don't, I don't know what he's saying because he's speaking so fast, right? I start talking really fast because I get excited and I have all these ideas that I'm trying to get out. And it's even, I'm like, I'm like a dog that like goes into the park and it's like stiffing around and everything. And then there's a squirrel, like it's over to the side now, right? Like it's, it's all over the place. And I think though about the things that I'm really good at, which is like jujitsu and some of the weight training things that I've done and some of the different activities that I've done and the commonality, the common thread amongst them was that I do them almost every day. So all the stuff that I'm good at, all the things that I've done that are worthwhile to me are things that I do every day. So I was like, well, what could I do? And I, 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 I collected this from other people as well. But then I thought about, well, what could I do to work towards these goals that I could do every day? And what ends up happening is, is that when you set these goals for yourself, these daily goals, these daily rituals, daily actions, whatever you want to call them, when you set these in place, you don't have to think so much. You don't have to actively think about it all the time because eventually you program yourself. You know, in the email that I sent out, I was talking about the fact that, you know, society, television, everything that we're surrounded by, by the people around, everything conditions us and brainwashes us and programs us, right? So you might as well actively take a hand in it, right? And think about how am I allowing myself to be programmed? And if I want to change that programming up, actively put a hand in that programming. And you can do that by setting daily tasks for yourself, daily goals that you do every single day no matter what. Because what ends up happening is, when you set those daily little actions for yourself, little daily rituals, then it becomes like you just have to do it. Like for instance with jujitsu training, on the days that I have programmed myself to train, if I don't train, I feel dirty. I feel like something's off. My body just feels weird. I can't put my finger on it. But if I train, then I feel good, right? Like if I get up Monday morning and I don't train, I'm like, I don't feel right the rest of the day. Something's weird. Or even like right now, if I was to walk on this mat behind you with shoes on, I would feel dirty. I'd be like, oh my God, I feel like I'm, I'm doing something really, really wrong. Because again, we don't walk on the mats with shoes because you'd be spreading bacteria. And so I've programmed my body not to do that. And so if I am in, going through my day and I don't hit one of my little tasks, I feel dirty, I feel like, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm missing something. I, I didn't do something I was supposed to do, something's off. And then if I do it, I feel good again. It, it, it's kind of interesting, right? And so for me, being an ADD person, kind of hyper all over the place, someone that like, I can visually see the goal, but I can be too hyper and literally from day to day to day, I can have a new goal, coming back and looking at what are the daily actions that need to be done, that helps me stay on task. So I do set New Year's resolutions, here's how I do it. When New Year's Eve came around, I sat down, with my, I have my little black goal journal. It's the only thing I put in that thing is goals and I write them th down throughout the, uh, the months of the year to sort of stay on task. And I looked at last year's goals going into it and I looked at them and said, okay, which ones did I hit? Mark those out. Which ones did I miss? All right, do I still wanna hit this next year? No, Psh, throw that thing away. Do I wanna hit it this year? Cool, let's put it down on the next page. After I started that, I fill out the rest of the goals that I wanna hit for 2019, at least that I can see right now, because they change, right? And then I look at those things and I stare at them and I think, okay, well, what could I do daily that would allow me to work towards these things, right? Not, not every now and then, but what could I do every single day that would allow me to work towards these goals that I have for myself? 
And then I can look at it and I start writing down ideas for the goals and it, or the, the actions it's gonna take. And that allows me to know whether or not I really want the thing. Because if I look at it and I'm like, man, it's gonna take a lot of work to make this thing happen. Maybe too much work, maybe I don't want that. It sounds good, it sounds like a really great idea, but maybe I don't really want to. But then if I look at it and I'm like, well, I could do this if I did this daily and that just wouldn't be too bad. Well, boom, there we go, I'm, I'm good. I've got something to work with. And you know, I actually just, I don't know if, maybe I could put this down into a little thing here, but I actually write this in my Evernote where I've got my little goal set, uh, my little daily, like my daily template of the day, right? Meaning I hit all these things come hell or high water. I do these things. I have it printed out by my desk, so I always have it with me, see it every day, and I can literally just go down the checklist as I'm programming myself. And then I can work towards the things that I'm doing. And the last thing for you guys that are interested, uh, if you're still watching the video, is that it's like, it's like someone getting ready to like run a marathon, right? They've got excited about running the marathon. They, they love the idea of like putting their hands up in, in the air as they're like running across the finish line and being able to, you know, put that sticker on the back of their car that's like what, 26 point something or whatever it is and being able to like, I ran a marathon, the idea of it, right? But then when it comes time to run the marathon, the guy says, go, they start running and for that first couple miles, they're like, I'm doing great. And then maybe after 10 miles, all of a sudden their legs are burning. And they're like, ah. and that little voice inside their head's like, man, this is tough. Maybe I should just quit, right? But then it becomes, can I put one foot in front of the other? And that's all it really is. And by having some sort of like daily thing that you can work towards, it becomes a lot simpler than instead of finishing the marathon, instead of hitting that big ass goal, it can be, can I do this little simple thing today? You know, can I do this little simple thing today? And I just do this every single day, one after the other, one after the other. It's like, to me, like anything that I, like, as I've gotten older, it's not, it's not like I've got this stuff all figured out. So I hope you don't want, this doesn't come across as preachy. I'm just sharing what works for me since I'm so damn like ADD. And I think a lot of you guys probably relate, but as I've gotten older, I've realized that like anything that's worthwhile takes like these, these it just is simple, small little incremental like things that you work towards to make the big stuff happen. So the video is seven minutes long, long enough. Guys, I hope that's helpful to you with your uh, New Year's goals, New Year's resolutions. Keep plugging away and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time.